Good morning. Do you have trouble with your dash cam turning off when you restart your car? If you do, keep watching. I've got a solution for you. Now, does your dash cam shut off every time you restart your car like mine does? Um, it is very bright in here, so I'm, you won't be able to see a lot, but you'll get the gist of what I'm doing. Um, if you can see in the corner of my rear view mirror, well, if I can get there, it's so much of a reflection. But up here, we've got the dash cam image. Um, it's so bright that you can't really see a lot of it, but believe me, it's there. Now, the engine's running. So we're driving down the road and we pull up somewhere and we turn the ignition off or we'll, we'll turn it back to auxiliary and the dash cam stays on and it's still running because it's still powered by the auxiliary ignition uh, and then two minutes later you go to start up again and you start the car and because of the drop in voltage uh, to the cigarette lighter because the cigarette lighter isn't powered when you crank the dash cam goes off so although the engine started again, to reboot the dash cam, you have to press the on button. Now doing that every time you restart the car, or remembering to do it every time you start the car, is a bit of a pain. So what we need to do is to find a way to power the uh, cigarette lighter um, for the few seconds that it takes to restart. So let me show you what I've got plugged in. Um, and we'll go from there. Right, so my cigarette lighter setup I've got I've got the the main plug comes in the centre console and that th feeds a quadruple box um, down the front there. And from there we've got one plug which does the dash cam. We've got one plug that does my phone. And we've got one plug that feeds all the way to the back. It comes up to a cigarette lighter socket up here in the back. And there's two sockets in that. One socket does the rear dash cam, which is in the back window. And then the second socket feeds these LEDs which I've got in the back window. So now back in the car. So when you when you go to crank the crank the engine to start it, it cuts the power off to the cigarette lighter. So the the drop in voltage causes the dash cam to go off. So what I found is what I was playing around with with capacitors to store energy for a few seconds to cover that initial voltage drop. Um, and I did find one, a quite a hefty capacitor, to cover this because the, the draw on this, um, all these loads comes to a total of about half an amp, uh, about 500 milliamps. Um, and so I found a big capacitor that will power it for about seven seconds at half, at half an amp uh, to give you time to restart the car and stops it cutting off. But um, we've got the Pico set up over there. I'm just gonna show you um, what, the, what it does. Right, so the capacitor I'm using is a Samwa 16 volt 68,000 microfarad. Now, 68,000 microfarad is quite a big chunky capacitor, and it will hold um, voltage. It will power my cigarette lighter for a few seconds to allow it to start without cutting off the power to the dash cam. Um, and all I do, I've connected two leads to it onto a cigarette lighter adapter and then all I do is I just plug it into the spare port and chuck it over the back there so whenever my cigarette lighter is, is powered up it charges the capacitor 
and then when say you turn off when you're on auxiliary it's still keeping a charge and when you go to restart the power is cut off to the cigarette lighter but it takes power from the capacitor and it powers it just for a few seconds to allow the engine to start to stop the dash cam cutting off hi now i will just jump in here for a quick second to mention a couple of things uh, the first thing is this well i'm plugging it into the cigarette lighter is only going to be a a temporary measure till I can get it hardwired into the loom that goes from the cigarette um, socket to that first box um, then it'll be tucked away and insulated because a capacitor um, although it's only 12 volt can hold quite a, you know it can give you quite a shock if you like short those two terminals out so just bear that in mind it's not going to be there all the time and the second thing is that capacitor I'm using um, you can use that on a motorbike um, if you've got a motorbike with a duff battery or you want to get a motorbike from A to B and it won't run properly because you because the battery is dead and just run on the dy on the generator itself it won't run you can install this this capacitor and it will take the place of the battery and allow you to run properly it'll work all the lights indicators all, all that sort of bits and pieces while you're riding it um, the only thing it won't do is, is power the electric start so you've got to kick start it but once it's started you can run it on that capacitor and it will it'll run all day long um, the third thing is um, being like I usually do forget to film things I didn't show you the setup of the Pico I put an extension piece between the cigarette light socket and the cigarette plug so I had two wires um, alive on earth so I could put a, an amp clamp around one of them. So channel one, the blue wire, was just voltage, and that was clipped to the cigarette lighter, and I'd run an earth from the battery with my power probe into the car so I could get a good, good earth off, off of that one. Uh, channel two was my amp clamp, and that was around one of the wires I'd extended on the cigarette lighter, so I could get a current waveform off of that. Um, but as I say, like I like, like I normally do, I've got to show you that. Um, yeah, so let's get back to the uh, get get back to the film and let's carry on. So now with it connected, we can say start the car. The dash cam comes on. Let's turn the radio off. As you can see or can't see, it's very bright in here, but the dash cam is on. So supposing we pull up, we turn it off on auxiliary, and we sit there for however long. You can see the ignition light is still on now, so we're still on ignit on on auxiliary, and then we go to start the car again. Ignition on, crank to start, and the sat nav stays on. Problem sorted. All right, now so we're back in the uh, living room out the bright sunshine we can see what's going on um, so this is where we start off we've got no voltage and no ampage um, we turn the ignition on and power everything up and we go up to let's bring the marker down we've got 12.12 volts on this line here and we are charging at oh, what have you got band there 0.982 982 milliamps that is for the phone charge although the phone's not connected the um dash cam the rear cam and the rear leds and we get along to this point and this is where we re restart the car and you'll see the voltage let's just zoom in here Let's get our let's get our zoom button. All right, so this is where we, we we start, and you'll see as soon as we go to crank, the voltage very quickly drops off down to about four point three nine volts. And then within a very short time, it is down to 
two volts while it's cranking and then by the time by the time it starts here this is where it starts again this is where it starts we're down to 1.7 volts and then of course it starts it starts up and then we're back to just under battery voltage this is before the alternator kicks in if we back out of that you can see a few seconds down the line about three seconds down the line the alternator kicks in and we are back up to 14.1 volts now during this time the ampage let's just keep this zoom in there again the ampage goes from All right, the ampage goes from 995 milliamps and while we're cranking it obviously goes down to zero but pretty much um, and then once we start the car again it's back up to the original sort of one amp which is why the, the dash cam turns itself off now if we load up the next slide okay so this is with the capacitor in line um, you can see we've got our voltage along the top there we've got our ampage there this is with the ignition on and the dash cam on let's just bring some markers down yeah we're 950 milliamps at 12.7 volts now when we get to this part over here this is where we start let's zoom in on that over there now you can see with the capacitor in line it drops from 12.7 volts and during the time it's cranking although there is no ampage because the, the the line is cut off line is switched off power from the capacitor powers it and then once it starts the voltage has only got down to 5.5 volts so it's kept that instead of it coming along here and dropping down to zero and going along it's you've got a nice steady downward curve where the capacitor is uh, powering it and that's just enough to um, stop the dash cam turning off well I hope you got the gist of that um, I hope you can understand what I'm saying because I've got a bit of a gammy tooth at the moment um, due to a five months old uh, Labrador puppy giving me a big headbutt the other week and knocking my tooth out. Um, so it's giving me a bit of a lisp. Um, but we're going to get that sorted soon. Um, so yeah, I mean, putting it, installing a capacitor just enough to sustain a bit of voltage while you're cranking um, so things don't shut off. Um, the other thing to say is when you when you do turn it off um, the capacitor will discharge pretty quickly because it also back feeds through the cigarette lighter and powers things like the radio um, so it will discharge fairly quickly so you've got literally probably about five seconds of power um, before it runs out of steam so it's just enough so when you go from auxiliary crank to start the power drops off that capacitor just holds enough charge just to stop the dash cam going off which is a big deal really uh, it saves keep remembering to turn the dash cam on every time you restart the car well I hope someone got something out of this video um, and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching guys see you later